thanks to CAST. Uh, today, my talk, uh, the topic of the talk is uh, on the group uh, generalized inversion formulas for the top lead matrix. Uh, we know that uh, the top lead matrix uh, has many applications in uh, signal processing. Uh, and a matrix is called a uh, top is if its uh, uh, entries along each diagonal are all constants, then we uh, call a matrix is, is top list. And uh, this is joint work with my uh, supervisor, professor. Uh, this is joint work with my supervisor, uh, Professor Wei. And Uh, this, can, uh, uh, this talk consists of uh, three parts. Uh, first, I would like to introduce uh, uh, some preliminaries. Uh, because we study the uh, generalized uh, inversion formula, and uh, so we first uh, would like to uh, see some uh, basic uh, introduction about the uh, non-singular case and some stability. And in the second part, uh, we would like to see some uh, stability analysis uh, for the generalized inversion formula and uh, after we uh, prove the stability and then we can use the, uh, the formula to compute the, uh, the generalized inverse for the top leaf matrix and then at last we based on this, uh, based on this formula uh, to compute the generalized inversion for the top list and then compare with the classical uh, algorithms already known. Uh, so, uh, and here we compare with our algorithm with the uh, Newton, Newton algorithm. And uh, just as I, as I show you, we know that the top list matrix is, uh, its entries are all constants along each diagonal. So it's, it's, it's a very, uh, uh, it has a very uh, specific structure. So, and we know that so the top lead matrix uh, can be used uh, the fast Fourier transform to solve the uh, top lead matrix vector multiplication. So for the general matrix vector multiplication, we already use uh, order about uh, n square flops, but for this special uh, structured top lead matrix, and we can just use uh, n log n uh, flops. And uh, here, we also want to see is uh, not for is uh, not only for his uh, uh, matrix vector multi multiplication, also for his its inverse. It can also be uh, represented very quickly because uh, for a general matrix, uh, usually this inverse. Uh, it, uh, it's very costly for the uh, com uh, computation, but for this uh, top lead matrix, it can be represented uh, just like the sum of two lower uh, matrix uh, and the upper uh, upper triangular matrix. Just the, the multiplication is very uh, uh, <laughs> very easy to uh, represent this matrix because we just need to solve this uh, two uh, linear systems. If we know the Solution of the uh, solution of these two linear system. This uh, e one and e n are just uh, the first column and the last column of the uh, corresponding identity matrix. If we uh, know the first uh, uh, first entry of uh, of the solution z is not is uh, it means uh, the first element of here uh, is not zero, and we can represent uh, this. Um, this uh, this inverse for the top lead matrix like this. Uh, so we can see that uh, for this uh, lower triangular matrix and this upper triangular matrix is still a top lead matrix because it's along each diagonal it's still constants. Uh, and we use this notation to uh, represent uh, for for this formula. Just for this formula, there is a stability analysis uh, for these two authors. Uh, they point out, uh, they uh, published a paper in linear algebra and its applications. Uh, and they told us that 
uh, if the if the first element uh, of the, the solution Z is not zero and uh, uh, the uh, not zero and under this and under this uh, condition here the condition is means that the Z is uh, the perturbed uh, solution of the uh, of, of this of this perturbed one. If we know this relative uh, relative perturbation here, and we know uh, and we can we uh, we can be sure that. Uh, the perturbed inverse uh, for this matrix uh, has this relative bound, but we can see that here the bound is depend on uh, the size of the matrix N. When the size of the matrix uh, is is too big, we can see that this bound is very big. So is, uh, this is because uh, we use the norm two to estimate this bound. And uh, a, di a simple and direct idea is to whether we can whether we can, uh, we can improve this bound using other norm because this bound is too big, just as I said. And uh, this is not because uh, this is not a published result, a, a manuscript uh, by Professor uh, Wu uh, from uh, uh, Jiangsu Normal University, uh, and this. Th th we show that uh, under the same can almost the same conditions uh, as this theorem, they show that uh, using the one norm, we can uh, we can show that this bond is much better because their bond is not dependent on n, the size of the matrix. Uh, uh, here also the the, uh, the same meaning, the perturbed one, the original one, and epsilon is the. Uh, that uh, is is the the, to the tolerance for the relative of the solution, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, and these two examples to show that the, uh, their bond is much better. Yeah, of course, because they, they, they have no n here. And uh, uh, just uh, as I showed, uh, uh, because I just showed the uh, the non-singular case for the uh, for the singular cases, uh, the most. Uh, a uh, popular uh, generalized inverse is the Morpheus inverse, and it's de defined like this. It, uh, the, the unique solution satisfies uh, these four uh, equations. And uh, the idea is, uh, is is very simple. It's also simple because uh, for for the non-singular cases. Uh, the inverse for the top of the matrix can be so uh, can be solved just by solving these two uh, linear systems, and uh, it's, it's direct to extend this idea to the no, uh, general uh, to the singular cases, and uh, the generalized inverse can be just solved by uh, four uh, four equations because it's it's, it's generalized ways. It's just a little bit complicated, and uh, but we, but it's a, uh, there is a little difference here is that uh, the key edge is cannot be represented by the original matrix. It can uh, can be just uh, represented by the uh, the uh, the principal sub matrix, uh, and it's here it's just some notations. It's uh, uh, alpha is uh, just a parameter uh, used in the. Uh, formulation and uh, x y is the same meaning, the same meaning of uh, as the non-singular cases. But but here we need to point it, point it, point out that here t in x and t in y equals uh, the first column, the last column. Maybe this uh, this is not a uh, consistent uh, consisted uh, linear system. It's just a least least squares problem. Uh, so it's uh, here's just the difference. And uh, we saw x, y, uh, and key h, uh, key and h, and then we can. And the Professor Xu from uh, uh, Xi'an Polytechnic University, and in 1992, they showed that it can also be represented uh, as the product, of the sum of products of lower and upper triangular matrices. Uh, it's just complicated. Uh, the first part, 
is, is, uh, is almost the same, except the, uh, the coefficient here. And uh, because it's the generalized inverse, they just, uh, uh, there are just more items here. And, but but, but it's, it's, although it's, it's, it looks complicated, but it's very simple to, to use because it's all, it all, uh, all of these matrices are still uh, top lead one. Uh, maybe they just a, a lower or upper uh, still, but uh, all of them are still uh, top lead one. Uh, there's still some more items. Uh, and similar, uh, based on this uh, formula, we, we can still uh, use the, uh, to, to extend the, uh, the, the stability analysis for the non-singular case to the singular cases. Uh, and uh, of course, because we have uh, proved the uh, advantage for the y norm, there is a new the, the bound is not dependent on the size of the matrix. So here we also use the y norm to uh, uh, estimate the relative error. And we can see that we can uh, estimate the, the perturbed one, the, the, uh, the, the norm difference between the original one and the, uh, the perturbed uh, uh, Morpheus inverse have this bound. It's just, it looks, looks a little bit complicated, but it's easy. Uh, a little bit easy to understand. But it's the pity here is that uh, we can't uh, estimate x and y using the original tn and uh, tn dag. Because just as like I, I said here, uh, for, x, for x and y we can represent the solution easily using the original matrix. But here for k and h, because it can just represent it by the uh, the principle, uh, the Morpheus inverse of the principal submatrix. So we can't uh, represent uh, this high term using the original matrix. So we can just get a bound like like this. We can't to uh, estimate uh, key uh, key h using uh, the t and the egg. So we can just get a bound like like this. But even, 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 uh, even the bond like this, we, we, we can see that it means that, that the formula for the TN DAG is, uh, is stable. And uh, we can just uh, use that formula to compute the Morpheus inverse. And the proof is uh, just uh, some uh, uh, tedious work, I think, because, because it's just complicated. Uh, first, we represent uh, represent this, these items using this, using the, the this notations. It's easy to understand. Uh, L means the, the lower, uh, R means the uh, upper, and they represent uh, the T and the like this. J is the reversal matrix because in the representation representation of the matrix, maybe uh, X or Y maybe in a different order. So we, we, we write a TN deck like this, and uh, we can uh, estimate the norm. Just uh, substitute uh, uh, the, the, the TN by TN deck here, and uh, we just need to estimate these four parts. And uh, for the first part, it's easy to, to to, uh, to estimate it, just uh, input one item here and estimate this norm. And because L and R uh, are just uh, lower and upper, and here we use one norm. One norm we know that uh, along each uh, column is, is just, uh, uh, yeah, it's constant. So, so this uh, one norm, the LX uh, one norm is just uh, the norm of X. So we can get this bound. And the other three bounds we can uh, uh, derive, derive them similarly. And uh, the above pass uh, for the uh, more pairs inverse. And for the group inverse, another uh, generalized inverse, we can uh, extend uh, the results uh, just uh, uh, reported uh, before. And the group inverse is the unique solution of these three. Uh, uh, these three equations. 
And uh, just as I said, uh, the, the more pairs the inverse, uh, the representation, we just need to solve four, uh, uh, the four, we use the four vectors to represent the inverse. But for the group inverse, we can use six x, uh, uh, x, y, k, h, and l, p. And we use this uh, four, uh, six, six vectors that we can represent there, uh, represent it similarly. And under this, oh, here I forgot the l and p. Yeah, it's some mistakes. Uh, also, for this relative perturbation uh, and these uh, conditions, we can go also get oh here oh right here. I put it here, and uh, oh, we can also get the the one known bound for the perturbed y and the original y here, just like this. And also the same, we can estimate x and y using t, g, but for h, k, v, uh, p, l, we cannot estimate because it's not the solution of this original matrix. And uh, uh, in the past uh, two parts, I just show the, the stability <laughs> analysis, and then we can, after we show the stability, we can just use the formula to compute because there is uh, no work in the literature to use uh, this formula. So we can just show the uh, stability, and so, and after the stability is proved, and we can use the stability uh, using that formula to solve the, uh, the more pairs inverse because uh, no people, uh, as I know, you use that formula to solve the more pairs inverse and the group inverse. And before we use, uh, we, we compare our uh, uh, algorithm based on that formula to compute the inverse, we just show some already known algorithms. Uh, the Newton's iteration is a very, uh, very classical, and uh, for for the top level matrix, it's, it has already been known uh, for many years. Uh, and uh, the Newton iteration can be applied to the top level matrix just because uh, the displacement rank. The displacement rank is uh, studied very extensively by many, many authors, and. Uh, uh, and for the non-singular, uh, for the si uh, for the singular top level matrix, for the four uh, four rank, it has already been studied by combining uh, combining the displacement rank and the Newton iteration. And uh, before uh, I see, uh, before I show the the algorithm for the top level matrix, I just uh, to uh, show you show you what is the displacement rank. Uh, and this is the, uh, the just the basic idea applied to the solve for the uh, generalized inverse for the uh, for the top level matrix, and uh, it, it it is known that if the uh, initial matrix is chosen as alpha e transpose, and then uh, the this iteration will converge to the uh, more pairs inverse, and if uh, if the initial matrix is chosen as alpha A, and uh, this iteration will converge to the group inverse, but it is just for the four rank cases. But for the rank deficient cases, uh, maybe this uh, initial matrix and this iteration will, uh, maybe it, it does not converge. And uh, for the displacement rank, it is just named this one. Uh, the Z is just a permutation matrix, except there is no one here. If it's, uh, there is a one here, it's just the, the permutation matrix. And uh, this is the displacement uh, operator. Uh, we, we call the displacement rank uh, uh, just the rank of this one. We can see that if, if E is a uh, top list matrix, uh, this delta A is just uh, one, one row and uh, one column and uh, here or zero. So it's, it's rank for the dis displacement rank for the top level matrix, matrix is just at most two. So it, it's at most two, but, uh, but uh, 
but uh, for the uh, just for for the general Newton iteration, uh, if we, if we just use this uh, common iteration, uh, we know that the the uh, the MP, um, more pairs in inverse uh, uh, is maybe it's not a top of the matrix. So in the in the iteration, this uh, displacement this displacement rank maybe grew very fast, uh, maybe grew exp exponentially, maybe. So the, the computational cost um, we may, uh, may be uh, very expensive uh, because uh, th that's because we know that if we know the. Uh, displacement, uh, 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 displacement, displacement representation, uh, representation for a matrix. I think the original matrix can be represented by the sum of some uh, topology the matrix. But uh, here is also the uh, even it's a uh, topology the matrix. But uh, here it, it's still a uh, structure. It's, it's a triangular, triangular topology the matrix. Just as I see, because for a general matrix, if we use uh, the general Newton iteration, maybe uh, during the iteration of the x, the key may be very large, grew very fast. Uh, during the iteration, it grew ex exponentially. So the, uh, the computational cost for the uh, matrix vector multiplication A, x, may be very expensive. So uh, their idea in this paper is just to, uh, just to uh, Use the truncation, uh, truncation because we know that uh, uh, we know that the the more pairs the inverse of the top of the matrix is at most four, at most four. So we can use truncation here because the key maybe grow, and we use truncation to uh, to control the displacement rank, and then the computation computational cost uh, um, may be cut down. So this is their uh, idea. And uh, the, uh, the truncated one is here. The, this is the truncated uh, for the epsilon displacement rank. It's just uh, uh, extend the truncated idea here. <coughs> and using the truncated and R may be at most four, and then the computational cost uh, is not so uh, so heavy as the original one. And uh, here it's just the. Uh, the details for the iteration. Just as I like see, if we use the general uh, general iteration, the the initial initial matrix, if 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 choosing like this, maybe uh, it does not convert. So the uh, in the uh, in the paper of uh, Professor V and uh, the uh, you using the. Uh, the initial matrix like this, using this structure, and uh, x, uh, we can see that it uh, it has a a transpose on both sides. Uh, so in in fact, we just uh, need to solve the iteration for y, and then we can represent uh, x. And in all the processes, we we do not store the matrix for a y x. So we just uh, need to store the matrix using. Uh, using the first column or the, or the column or be maybe or, or, and then also for the in just this uh, uh, this this uh, this, uh, these four terms we do not store we do not store y explicitly. Uh, uh, this is the uh, iteration process for the iteration for for uh, process for y and. Uh, and we get y. Uh, we can represent x, and uh, th th this iteration is just for y. We first we uh, we need to give uh, the y i for the y i uh, plus y. Uh, we can use the represent representation here because uh, this is the uh, iteration, and this uh, y is the truncated one, and this is the. Uh, process of the, uh, the algorithm, and the uh, and uh, after we formulate this, uh, we formulate this uh, ODG for uh, for y, and we can represent the iteration for the matrix X. So this is what we uh, what we want, and this is the uh, tolerance. This is for the 
uh, stopping criterion for, for this algorithm. And uh, the, 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 uh, the core algorithm is just uh, the, the ODG here. And here is just uh, the, uh, the outside iteration. We choose, uh, first we give the initial uh, matrix and the initial representation of the displacement genera uh, generator and using this uh, uh, ODG and then we just iterate, iterate and at the last using this uh, stopping criterion and then we get the, uh, the inverse, the approximate inverse of what we want just like here uh, and at last uh, we, we just compare the uh, our uh, the, the algorithm based on the formula and uh, to compare our, uh, our results with uh, this algorithm. And uh, we knew that we just need to uh, solve uh, four, uh, four vectors uh, for the, to represent the universe. And indeed, uh, for the four vectors, we just need to um, Uh, it, it's, we, we, need, we need four vectors here. We need four vectors here to represent the uh, explicit expression. Uh, four vectors here, but we need other uh, param parameters. Indeed, uh, t uh, a minus y dx c is just key. So here we, the u, we can form, uh, formulate it easily. So we can just solve x, y, k, h, and v, because u can be formulated from k. So, so I see that we just need five, uh, just the least squares to solve, uh, just the f uh, f five, five least squares to represent this Morpher's inverse. And uh, to solve these least squares, we try several uh, functions and like GMI, GMIS, GMIS, PCG, the, the all uh, don't work. And for the LSQR, it works here and here. We use the LSQR to solve <coughs> these five list squares. And uh, this matrix uh, is constructed in the paper for the Newton's iteration. Because they use this example, because uh, this matrix is very uh, structured. The first column is uh, like this, and the l the last column is the same as the first column. And so, so this matrix is direct efficient. And uh, for the uh, general Newton iteration, it doesn't converge. And in their Newton iteration, it works. So we just compare uh, our results uh, for this example with uh, their Newton iteration. And uh, you, this iteration. Uh, th th this matrix uh, is uh, Morpher's inverse and group inverse can be represented easily from this. So, just you use this norm to uh, estimate the exact uh, uh, estimate the error between the exact uh, t uh, dag and the uh, uh, and the computed one. Uh, here, C is the circulant matrix, and here is the. Uh, just the c comparison for the, uh, these two ap approaches. And uh, the f, uh, time f is represented our for during the, for, uh, it's uh, based on the formula, and uh, time n for the Newton. Uh, here is the, the error for the, uh, the algorithm based on the formula, and this one for the, uh, for the Newton. We can see that the, uh, the accuracy is almost of the same order. We can we can see that uh, it's almost of the same order. But for the time, uh, uh, our time is uh, we need uh, much less time than the uh, Newton iteration, and we need to pull, we also need to sh uh, notice that uh, as the the size of the matrix uh, grows bigger and bigger, and uh, maybe uh, the the Newton uh, will be. Uh, much slower, and uh, our algorithm based on the formula can still work. Uh, for the group inverse, we can, so we can also uh, 
we can uh, we can still see that the new ten iteration uh, uh, is still very uh, very slow, but it, but we didn't finish this work yet because uh, we just now we don't know uh, how to solve this. Uh, uh, how to solve uh, this uh, this uh, this system now? So we just. Uh, uh, Test their examples for the. We just uh, finished the one for the uh, more person inverse, but for the group inverse like this system, we don't know how to solve this uh, now. Maybe there is some DGMIS, but I don't know how to uh, run the uh, run the algorithm now. So we just know how to do, but we we we, we doesn't uh, we don't formulate the algorithm yet. Thank you. <laughs>